I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to identify the strength in a dealt hand. I call it random pulls. This is a great exercise if you're new to the game because identifying the strength in a dealt hand is the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. For the first one, we're going to be the dealer. So we'll get 14 random tiles. We have a joker. Almost news. Dragons, one of each. We have a five, six, and bams. One six crack pair. One nine in dots. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I would play like numbers with sixes, building around this pair. Build around multiples. That is the best way to play American Mahjong, because American Mahjong is a game of multiples. There is some potential for a year hand. so. I think I would probably hold the one nine pass those three. Like numbers with sixes, maybe a year hand, but I would focus on the sixes. For the second random pull, we're going to be non-dealer, so I'll get 13 tiles this time. We have a couple jokers, a couple flowers, north and west, four, five, pair four dots. Then we have six, seven in bams, three, seven in cracks. If this were your dealt hand, what would you say is the strength of that hand and what category would you play and what would be your first pass? If this were my dealt hand, I would build around the flowers and the fours. So I would start here, look at the rest of my tiles Keep supporting tiles for these two multiples. Consecutive run has potential. There are a couple hands that could be played here. We could potentially play the third hand down, the fourth hand down, the fifth hand down. All those would use flowers and fours if we get the right tiles. As an option, I would keep the west because if we get an east and other fours, we could maybe play east and west with fours, which also uses the flowers. That's the fifth hand down under winds and dragons. So I would discard these, maybe keep the three because we could do three, four, five, or two, three, four using these third hand down under consecutive run. And that leaves us with tiles to pass. So I would focus on consecutive run and these fours and flowers. For the last random pull, we're going to be the dealer. I'm going to get 14 tiles.
Here's our dealt hand. We have a joker, pair of east, single dragon, white dragon, three nine in dots, five, six, eight in cracks, four, six, seven, eight in bands with a pair of eights. If this were your dealt hand, what would you say is the strength of the hand? Which category would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the east and the eight. There are two hands that we can play with these tiles. Fifth hand down under winds and dragons, east and west with eights. So I would hold the eight. We could also maybe play a quint. Second one down. We have no flowers. So I'd say that's a long shot. East and west with eights. Because we have so many discards, I would pull plan B. Probably two, four, six, eight, or five through eight. Here's a five, six, seven, eight, for example, consecutive run, five, six, seven, eight, second hand down. Since we have no twos, I think I would not play two, four, six, eight. We have no gaps five through eight. So I think I would pass those. I try not to pass white dragons. I would play five, six, seven, eight, east and west with eights, or a quint with eights. We could maybe even hold the dragon because there is a quint with eights and the dragon. But I'd like to try to use this. I would focus here, see if we could play east and west with eights, fall back on consecutive run, five, six, seven, eight, if it doesn't work out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.